pins for digital products that I sell on Etsy. Most people that I see on Pinterest selling or creating pins are using stock photos and I don't have a blog. How do I make pins for my Etsy products? This is a question I recently got after publishing the how to use Pinterest and Etsy video from the week prior. And I wanted to show you exactly how you can actually create pins for your digital products. I myself, including clients and students, only create in the digital world. Nothing that I put into the world is actually physical, except for obviously me live on video calls, I guess could be considered physical because I'm there. But all of that aside, I don't sell physical planners. I don't sell physical products, workbooks, anything like that. I do digital, including workbooks, opt-ins, lead magnets, workshops, my membership. Clients are also doing webinars and you know, you, you get the gist. So how do you create pins? for those digital products. Well, let's talk about it. Actually, we're gonna hop right into the computer because I know that's why you're here. So a few best practices before we dive into actually designing our Pinterest pins for digital products. Your two main Pinterest pin sizes are 1000 by 1500 or 1080 by 1920, which is this template size we're gonna be working with today. You wanna include a keyword phrase that is going to help people to find you. Mockups are your friends if you cannot take physical pictures of your own products. Know your keywords before you design, meaning that you have gone out and figured out what keywords you want to use on your Pinterest pins before you start designing. And add a call to action when necessary or when possible. I would also add a, a, a final kind of best practice to this list of have all of your screenshots already uploaded to Canva before you get started designing to make the design process more seamless. Now I'm working with a set of templates from my Shopify store today that are specifically designed for this exact thing for mockups. So I'm just going to show you the ones that I've chosen here. This set is like a set of 35 pins, but I've chosen just a handful of them. You'll notice one of these is three images. I'm doing that very intentionally. I'm going to show you different ways to make designs for your products today. So the first thing that I want you to do, like I said, is make sure you have your keyword phrase ready. I already have mine ready. I'm going to pretend I'm a teacher making pins for teacher products today. So I am going to use keyword phrases. I went already went out and searched for these and found them um, that are related to the products. And you'll also notice in my uploads, we already have um, images here ready to go as well. So what I'm going to do is drag those screenshots in that I already took. And then I'm just going to start putting my worksheets that I, that I created from Canva templates for this example. And I'm just going to start manipulating those in the design here. And you can see there's a little shadow hiding back there. We're actually going to make our own shadow here. You get to this by going to edit photo and adding those shadows in, and then you can play with whatever shadow you prefer. For example, if you want it to be glow or this is a drop shadow, there's also outline. And then they have different ways that you can edit those there. And what basically what I'm going to do is take the keyword phrasing I've already researched. Okay, so I have inputted the keyword phrase that I wrote, including my main keyword, which is second grade math worksheets. Help your students succeed with second grade math worksheets. And then I added just a little bit of extra detail to this with pointing out that these there are 30 principal worksheets here and that these are editable in Canva. Teachers will love that stuff that it, if it's editable. Moving on to the next example, um, I want to have a big key, like, big call out or headline on this. And then I want to showcase what's inside. So it's a very similar design to this one here, but it's a, just a slightly different image. So we're going to start adding our worksheets in. And if you don't have them all, I would suggest just downloading the worksheets as a PNG file. So you, when you get going on your design, you already have them right inside Canva and you can very quickly add them to the file. Then you can go back and actually add the shadows if you want these to stand out off of the screen. And it's very easy to add these shadows in Canva now. And they don't disappear as readily as they once did. 
Okay, once you're happy with the overall design with that worksheet part, then you want to just add in whatever else that you want to showcase. So if this is on your website, um, one thing that I like to do is actually add like course dashboards like this so people can see that this is an actual course or whatever you're promoting. Um, so this is my membership. I keep images of course dashboards, of products, free content, so member only content or free content. So all of my products and freebies, I actually have images and videos and stuff for those ready. Um, this is my common opt-in right here with the actual editable file in, in Canva. And then I have images of that file here. So if this were the product I was promoting, I could add those in. And then what I could do is actually add a video in here if I wanted to and make this whole thing a video pin. So moving on to the next design, which is actually very similar to this one. Um, again, just showcasing your products. This is the one that I actually wanted to show you and I wanna download it and show you what it looks like when you're done. It's gonna be a full video pin and we're just gonna add our logo to this so we have some sort of branding. A call to action, download free, start doing the thing you really wanna do. So if this is some sort of math worksheet, for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these extras because I'm gonna duplicate it. I wanna show you the full process. So if I wanted to actually do that freebie I just had shown you for my own strategy guide, or if this is an item in your Etsy store, um, we're gonna add one image at a time. So maybe we start with the cover image and then we add our text overlay and a call to action. I put download free here, so maybe we just move that down here. Whatever you wanna add text-wise at the top, then duplicate it and then delete this image and add the next image. Duplicate it, add the next image. And you wanna do this however many pages that you want it to be. And when you're done, you're gonna download the file as a video. So what we're gonna do is go to download and MP4 video, and then we are going to select all of those images that we just made, click download. If we go to share and view only link, that image would look like this, it would move and it would be rotating as an image. So you're creating a video pin out of your digital products using a template like it looks like a picture frame or an iPad frame. Um, I wish I could click and open this in the recording of what that actually looks like. Uh, I don't, it would just open on my computer and it's not gonna film, it's not gonna record, but you get the gist. Add your main text overlay of whatever it is. So if I did, I put that as my text overlay and then it's going to be on every slide so the the actual design of the slide is the same the only thing that's changing out is the image and then you make it a moving pin and it helps to capture people's attention um another way that you can do this like i had mentioned earlier is doing um like course dashboards or your etsy store or something of that nature what i i also like to do is actually go to the landing page so I was recently promoting a live keyword workshop. So what you could do is open up the landing page for the product. So if you're promoting a webinar or if you're promoting whatever kind of digital products that you're creating, and then you're going to drag that into the frame just like that. And then you can see the actual like webinar signup page or free opt-in or paid product landing page, whatever you want that to be. So then you can put like free 90 minute workshop. So this is for my content creators that are promoting um, digital product funnels. Um, for anyone on Etsy creating like, um, digital planners let's just hop over and just find something like a digital planner here in real time i'm just going to show you guys what this looks like so we have our design here 
what we can do is just pop it over into Canva, bring our image kind of into the frame. And then you can come in and grab, you see this mock-up? I mean, you're already doing this on Etsy if you're an Etsy seller or a Shopify seller. You're already doing this. This is what you wanna do for your Pinterest pins, something similar to that. Um, so you just wanna grab these images and drop them into your frames and tell them, you know, you get you know, 50 pages of this and you get this awesome bonus plus this thing. And there you go. Now you have a Pinterest image on it. Now, one final thing I wanted to talk to you guys about in this process of creating pins for digital products is you don't necessarily have to use a template. I created this Pinterest pin to make for an ad and I just layered my images actually on the slide. So these are, this is that strategy guide I had just shown you guys earlier in the earlier example. And you can have just some basic text and put your images actually on the slide. This does not need to be complicated. You don't need templates to do this, to achieve this. In fact, let's actually just do a really quick live um, Pinterest image creation without templates so you guys can see what I would do if I were doing this from scratch. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to find a frame that I want. So if we're doing like a tablet and a computer, which I will oftentimes do, just add those things to the screen here. So I'm gonna make these, scale them down to size, bring it forward. And you guys have probably seen these mock-ups everywhere on the internet. So the laptop is always slightly bigger and then we have the phone. And then I'm just going to simply start adding my content. So I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. So a quick hack for you guys, if you're looking to make different size mockups, but you don't want to have to open up all of your devices, go to inspect on the page and then choose what size that you actually need right here in the console. So this is tablet and phone. If you're not in inspect, it's naturally just going to be desktop size. And then what we want to do is just screenshot this right here, drag that into Canva for your template size for the tablet, and it will fit better in that size. Then the same thing, if you wanted it to be a phone size, you just want to move, move me out of the way here and then just grab whatever part of that you want and upload it to this and now you have a phone size that fits and you have a template size or a tablet size that fits and then obviously we already have the computer size that fits as well and then we'll just find whatever other screenshot we wanted to add in here so this is a lot of blah right it's a lot of white so we want to make we want to try to make this pop so maybe we add a different background color to help those devices pop up off the screen. Maybe you need to adjust your, your screenshots a bit to make them more interesting, whatever it is, but you get the gist of like adding frames and adding your digital products into the frame. Not everyone can take their tablet and photograph their products and make them beautiful. So we really have to rely on mockups here in a way that um, incentivizes us to not only create our Pinterest pins, but makes it faster to do so. So I wanna showcase just before I let you go, um, some of my recent pins that I have created. And one of the examples I showed you today was actually this one right here with the different tablets, with the different um, pages of the product within that tablet. So it's a bunch, it's like seven slides, all different pages. I downloaded it as an MP4 video. This is for a YouTube video. So the same deal if you're creating free content and you want to promote it as digital products, use these frames to showcase the thing. Um, this is a Pinterest template that I created, similar to something that you can find in the Canva templates, where I inputted my Pinterest pin templates and I linked this to my Shopify store. And I just have a text overlay where I'm calling it out. Elegant Pinterest templates for Canva. And then I have all the pin templates in phone screens. Um, you don't necessarily have to showcase the actual product. You could also do pins like this where you're using photos of yourself. 
So I do this more often than not. I will do um, a basic Pinterest pin like this with an image of myself that I had taken. You don't have to have professional photos. These are professional, but you don't have to have them to be professional to promote your free thing. And I mentioned the free thing here. Um, but if you are creating products that are in a Shopify store, an Etsy store, Teachers Pay Teachers store, you can do them like this, where you just showcase the products themselves and you just call that out and you use some text overlay that helps Pinterest to understand what this pin is about and um, push them to that thing. Again, this is another example that um, one of my team members made where we're just using a basic Pinterest template uh, talking about a free piece of content that I've created, but then we're also giving them this automation guide um, for free. So whether it's a free product, a paid product, something you're selling on Etsy or any other third party platform, um, this is the easiest way to do it. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is actually uploading and optimizing your pins to Pinterest. Once you're done creating them, you obviously will then need to write a pin title, pin description, get your link ready and upload that Pinterest image to the platform. Here is that example I just created earlier on in the um, in this video. And you can see that it's going to start moving here. These are five second clips, by the way. You can make those shorter if you want to make them shorter. Um, but then that is a video pin and then you can go on and add tags. So. Um, that's it. I hope you guys understand how you can definitely easily make Pinterest pins with your digital products and offers. Now that you know how to create Pinterest pins for your digital products, you may be wondering how to optimize those pins on Pinterest to get them found by your audience. If that's the case, head on over here and watch this video, how to optimize your Pinterest pins on Pinterest, and I will see you over there.